Welcome back, welcome back, any and all, glad you all could come back to hear the word. Now I'm going to hear the word, but be to us the word, glory be to a higher. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up, we didn't wake ourselves up, no we can't do that. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. And I sure hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. You know, um, today is another glorious day. Always count your blessings, you know. When the Lord gets you up in the morning, tell him thank you, you know. When these days that we live in and now, a lot of people are unthankful and ungrateful, ungodly. Please, have the love of God in you. And make sure, and hallelujah, if you, if you are not saved, please get saved. I hope all of you are saved, that you've given your life to Christ Jesus. That you all have been baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. You read God's word daily, preferably the King James Version. Go down on your knees and cry out to the Father in sincerity and truth. I hope you have that personal relationship with the Father. It's very important. He looking from that from each of his ch- or each and every one of his children. Each and every one of us. He is. He wants that relationship. That personal relationship, okay? And um, please live a life of daily repentance. Because we live in these fleshly bodies, a flesh warring with the spirit, always, always. And today we're on chapter 6, and still in the book of Hosea, the Lord's people speak. Before we begin to read, though, we're going to say a prayer for children of all ages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father, for every day. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you for your protection. Thank you, Father, for your daily provisions. Thank you, Father, for our parents that love us. Thank you, Father, for you being our Heavenly Father. We love you. And thank you for our siblings, too. Thank you, Father, for teaching us to treat and love others the way that we want to be loved and treated. We love you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, and amen indeed. Amen. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Hosea chapter 6. The Lord's people speak. Let's return to the Lord. He has torn us to shreds, but he will bandage our wounds and make us well. In two or three days, he will heal us and restore our strength that we may live with him. Let's do our best to know the Lord. His coming is as certain as the morning sun. He will refresh us like rain, renewing the earth in the springtime. People of Israel and Judah, what can I do to what can I do with you? Your love for me disappears more quickly than mist or dew at sunrise. That's why I slaughtered you with the words of my prophets. That's why my judgments blazed like the dawning sun. I'd rather for you to be faithful and to know me than to offer sacrifices at a place named Adam. You betrayed me by breaking our agreement. Everyone in Gilead is evil. Your hands are stained with the blood of victims. You priests are like a gang of robbers in ambush. On the road to Shechem, you murder and commit other horrible crimes. I have seen a terrible thing in Israel. You are unfaithful and unfit to worship me. People of Judah, your time is coming too. Well, God's willing on Monday, we'll come back. Still in the book of Hosea, chapter 7, the Lord wants to help Israel. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some. He died for us all. So if you haven't given your life to him, what are you waiting for? Nobody else died for your sins. Nobody else died for our sins. Only Jesus. Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's not something up for debate or discussion. It's something we all must do, so please do it. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, let it go. You heard me? If you have any unforgiveness in your heart, let it go. It doesn't matter what he or she has done. It doesn't matter what whoever it was or whatever they've done. you got to let it go. You want your Father in heaven to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions. Is that correct? Well, you must do the same. Okay? I love you all to love the Lord, and that's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day and a beautiful, blessed weekend as well. Children of all ages, youngest to oldest alike, God bless you. Bye-bye.